folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at our final quadratic surface. This guy, negative x squared over a squared, minus y squared over b squared, plus z squared over c squared, all equals 1. You know the name of the game. First let's draw the x, y, z axes. Here's z, here's y, here's x. Let's label them x, y, and z. And let's rewrite our equation, right? I love her writing equation. So negative x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared. And all of that hot fuzz is equal to 1. Okay, so what does this look like on the xy plane? Well, to answer that question, we fix z to be 0, take this term, pop it right out, and of course, let's let a, b, and c all equal 1. So that we end up with negative x squared minus y squared is equal to what? It's equal to 1. And what's that? Well, that's x squared minus plus y squared is minus 1. Well, you know what that is. That's impossible. There's nothing. No positive squares that's going to add up to a negative number. So the xy plane is just empty. It's a ghost town. Like, uh, like where we are. Okay. So, good. How about the xz plane? How's our quadratic surface going to look on the xz plane? Well, just fix y. Take this y term, pop it right out, and what are we left with? We're left with minus x squared plus z squared is equal to 1. Alright, well, what is that? Well, what is that? Well, if you go ahead and plug in for z, if you let x be 0 and solve for the z-intercepts, what are you going to get? You're going to get z is plus minus 1. So that's plus 1 over here minus 1 over here. That looks like a hyperbola to me. It's a up and down hyperbola. Okay, up and down hyperbola. Sorry about that. And finally, let's look at our cross section on the yz plane. Bring this guy up here. Cross section on the yz plane. Well, to find that cross section, I know what I gotta do. I gotta fix x to be 0. Take this term, pop it right out. We're left with minus y squared over b squared plus z squared over c squared e equals 1. And of course, I fix b and c. I make them equal 1. So I'm left with minus y squared plus z squared is equal to 1. And so same story. I'm left with a hyperbola, but on the yz plane. So you can kind of imagine I got a hyperbola here and a hyperbola there. Okay, so now... The, just to cap all of this off, to cap all of this off, what you're going to realize is that when z is sufficiently positive, you're going to have circles right here. And so you can imagine you have kind of two bowl shapes. One bowl over here, one bowl over there, and nothing. A ghost town in the middle. And we actually have a name for this. Guess what? It's called a hyperboloid. But wait. You've seen hyperboloids before. You saw it in a few lectures ago. We call it a hyperboloid because, well, guess what? You got two hyperbolas. The cross section on the xy plane, that's a, that's a ellipse. Cross section on the xz plane, that's a hyperbola. And cross section on the yz plane, well, this is also a hyperbola. So you got a lot of hyperbolas. That's why we call it a hyperboloid. But you see, there's a ghost town in the middle, and you've got two things, two bowls. So we call it a hyperboloid of two sheets. Hyperboloid of two sheets. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our last quadric surface. The two bowls and the hyperboloid of two sheets. We'll check you out next time. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding oh. equals yeah. learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO. 
and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.